Hello viewers, welcome back with another useful video in our channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to install operating system via LAN cable. In this video, I give you some tips to install Windows operating system without getting any error like access denied or cannot connect to this network. First, just go to Google Chrome and type server community free download this is the software we are going to use to install operating system from one computer to another computer using LAN cable this is the free software we can download for our normal use here we have server community and server pro we can download server community for our home purpose I have downloaded this already so I just close it. For convenient I am doing this. In any drive if you have more space there just create a folder called server OS installation. Now go to your download folder and get where you downloaded that server community software. Just copy this server community software and paste it over here. The folder we created. In Windows Server, we have an option like extract all. This option is comes default with Windows 7. We no need to use 7-zip or binder for extract any zip format files. If you use 64-bit operating system, just open server 64. As we are using community version, we have to wait 7 seconds. This is important. We have to click private network such as my home or home network checkbox. Allow access. When you open the server, it will ask us to do settings. Before that, we need to do one thing. Go to open and network sharing center and change adapter setting. Click properties on the local area connection and then go to IP version 4. Then click properties. Here we need to select use the following IP address and type this IP address and subnet mask and default gateway. Here you can see this is the IP address for this computer. Now click OK. Now go to the settings in server software. Just click TFTP. Click TFTP server and bind TFTP to this address. Here we have to type the IP address that we have set for our Ethernet cable that is 192.168.1.1 in this and this is the server root directory we have to choose where the for we created the folder server OS installation here in DHCP click DHCP server and bind DHCP to this address and BINL here we have to type that IP address that we have set for our Ethernet option. Here IP pool first address. This is the IP address which we are going to assign to our second laptop. Here we assigned 192.168.1.2 set 10 in the pool and a subnet mask 155.155 sorry 255.255.255.0 then close the server if you do any changes we need to close the server and reopen again now you can see in that server OS installation folder we don't have any extra folders except we create we have that server software here we can see now we have some lines in the log means that server did that settings that we have did previously now you can see server created some folders for us there's a folder called wia underscore wds this is the folder inside which we are going to place our windows operating system so we need to share this folder so the second laptop can access file inside this folder go to properties sharing and advanced sharing click share this folder this is important in share we have to 
give it this name wie underscore wds underscore share everything in caps go to permission prefer to choose everyone so we won't get any access denied or cannot connect to this network so we are choosing everyone and give full control to everyone apply and ok then go to the security tab then here you can see we don't have everyone under in this list so we click edit add go to advance and find now here we can get everyone we need to add this to that list now that everyone come to the list just give full control to that everyone click apply and ok now we have given permission to everyone so inside that folder just create folder called windows 7 so we are going to put that windows 7 operating system inside this folder we will be seeing this folder name in the second laptop when we install we will see in a moment copy the windows 7 operating system which you prefer and paste that operating system inside that wia wds folder we can directly extract it from that location from the uh, operating system we are doing this for just convenient then extract our operating system here for this we can use Xavan zip or winrar or other extraction applications i personally tried 7zip it's faster than winrar and other extraction softwares so i prefer to use 7zip so now we almost done all the required steps in first pc before that we have to click the server 64 so that server will do settings that windows operating system that we have pasted in that location now we can see server added windows 7 folder into it so we are closing server and opening because whenever we do any settings we need to close the server and open it again then only the server will make changes so we have done with the first laptop in second laptop go to bios and system configuration and go to boot options since we are going to install operating system via lan network we have to enable this internal network adapter boot so enable that legacy support so in legacy boot order by default we will have notebook hard drive so we need to change our network adapter to the first in that order so when we reboot the system automatically system will boot from the network adapter now press f10 to save and exit click s So as you can see now we have option network boot for that we have to press F12 now go to the first computer and open server 64 again because when we are installing operating system that server software needs to be run we have opened the server software in the first laptop then now we have to connect to the two computers with LAN cable as you can see then LAN network, LAN network is connected successfully now we have to press F12 for boot from the network adapter 
now the system is being booted from the network now we have seen that windows 7 folder that we have created in the first laptop and in server software we can see from the log that ip address 192.168.1.2 .1 it's being offered to the second laptop by this server software so now we can communicate with second system so just click enter now it's windows 7 is booting up successfully after booting up the server will ask for user and password we gave full permission to everyone so we have to type everyone with the same name that we are seeing from the first laptop like e is a caps and remaining letters are in lower case we don't need to have any password then click connect in this way we don't get any access denied or cannot connect to this network if we follow this step give permission to everyone so here we have our operating system ready to be installed Okay, bye. See you in the next video.